Hey there, Kim Air here. We're just going to um, spend just a few minutes. This is going to be a quick video on basic data types in C. Okay. So we'll talk about each one. I'll show you a quick little program, then we'll call it a day. Um, these are the basic data types in C. Now keep in mind when you get a little further into the language itself, you'll see some variations, especially those that are what we call integral or the integer types. Um, and maybe in another video, you'll see how characters and integers and um, bits and bytes all kind of relate. But for now, let's focus on just uh, getting moving forward. So you'll notice we have um, four basic data types. We have a character, um, char. We have an integer, int. We have a float and a double. So let's talk about the character for a second. Uh, I like to tell people that almost anything on a keyboard is a character. So if you, all the letters, uppercase, lowercase, the digits, the special symbols like the dollar sign, the percent sign, the ampersand, the asterisk, um, the commas, but also things that people don't usually realize, the enter key, that's going to be important eventually. Uh, the enter key, the backspace key, the space key. There's only a few um, keys that aren't considered characters, but the majority of them are characters. So just think almost anything on a keyboard is a character. Now, the second thing to note about characters, if you want to type a character into um, your program and you want your program to see it as a single character, keep that in mind, single character, you'll have to denote it with a single quote. Please don't use double quotes because that's a string and the computer handles it completely differently. Not completely, but it very differently um, than it would a character. Also, a character has a percent %c as its format specifier. So uh, we have used percent %d's already probably or percent %f's, those kinds of things. So this is a percent %c for character. Talking about integers for a second. Integer is any digit, 0 through 9, that does not contain a decimal point. So if you have 7.0, yes, your math teacher will tell you that's, an, that's you know, an integer because it's a whole number. However, in a computer world, it is not. Because it contains that decimal point, the computer will not see it as an integer. So an integer is a single, um, it doesn't have to be a single digit, it's just a single number, positive or negative. So you could have 227, as long as there's no decimal point in it, it will be an integer. Um, it can also be positive or negative and typically has a percent %d as a format specifier. We're going to learn about all kinds of other ones later, but uh, percent %d is what I'm going to use. It stands for a decimal integer right now. Um, don't confuse the decimal with the decimal point. That's different. Um, it also has a max and a min value, and we're going to talk more about that later too. Okay, so if we look at the right side, we have floats, floats and doubles. The cool thing about floats and doubles is they're pretty much the same except their size. And you can bet that whatever the size of a float is in memory, eh, the double is pretty much double that. So um, it is any positive or negative number that contains a decimal point. So I gave you some examples there, 7.4, 3.456, 2.0. Because it has a decimal point, this computer sees it as a float. We're going to use percent %f as the format specifier for that. And as a double, instead, because it is bigger, it's considered a long float, so it's going to use a percent %lf, and that is a lowercase l, um, followed by the f, so it stands for long float. So let's go declare each of these and take a look at how they work. So if I create a variable, and I call it initial, and I want to use my initial, notice I put it in single quotes. Just think, single character, single quote. Um, integer, favorite number, float, I can't type today, sorry about that, um, there we go, and I don't remember it from there. Okay, that's good enough for now. So you'll see that I have declared um, a variable for each one of these and kind of showing you how to go ahead and do that. We can then do a printf real quick, and we can tell it to, remember, go to a new line, percent %c, percent %d, percent %f, and percent %lf. Now, I'm not using any format specifiers or field width specifies or anything like that, so it's just going to print a bunch of zeros. Um, 
Be careful, order matters. And there we go. So I should be able to save this and compile and run it. And like I said, it's all going to print on one line, but at least you'll be able to see it prints the K, the 22, the point zero six, and because I didn't tell it how many decimal points, it defaults to 6, um, 3.141593. Okay, so those are the four basic data types you're going to use. Always think of what kind of data you're going to be holding when you declare your variables. All right, that's it for now. We'll talk soon.